Lena said that you've got a couple of queries and she's recently received Lino yarn from us, which is these guys here. And she had knitted a swatch and she sent us a picture of the swatch um, and you could see that it was biasing um, fresh off the needles and then she went and washed and blocked it and it lined up really nicely. Um, I think I'm going to bring you back up actually for a second. So you were concerned about when you were going to go and make your pattern that the whole thing would twist as you were wearing it. Um, I'm going to show the pattern as well that you were doing. So Nicola is going to be making June, which is by Julie Weisenberger. So it's another coconuts um, design and she's going to be making it in Lino. And you were just concerned that it was going to sort of shift as you were wearing it. Um, and you were wondering if in the Lino uh, or Leone patterns that we've been making lately, if that's been a problem. Um, it hasn't been. And I don't know, as you were saying, the tension in Leone is quite different to the tension in June. Um, but there are things that you can do to um, minimize that if you're finding that while, when you knit in the round that your whole fabric is sort of sliding over a little bit and um, I did do I did a, a kind of cotton viscosity top years ago that had a leaf panel design down the middle and it was knit in the round and it drove me crazy because every time I wore it this thing that was supposed to be lovely and straight down the middle was shifting it was one way or the other I can't remember which way um, and so it committed to memory the thing that we should do and that you can do for other other yarns doesn't have to be one that you've detected this bias in um is create fake seams in your project that's knit in the round so there's two main methods that i've come across for it and that is like you just put a marker literally you know at the sides where your seams would be um, and you can do every second round purl one or two stitches there so you're kind of creating this little garter stitch breaker um, going up the, the side. Or there's another method um, where you, again, you mark it. And when you get to the underarms before you cast off or or, or if you're working top down, actually before you, before you do your cast off, either which way, right? Um, you actually drop one column of stitches and create a ladder all the way back down. Um, and then get out your crochet hook and hook up. It's like, I think you like skip uh skip a line every second or third or you know depending on the the row tension of the row gauge um so that you're not kind of distorting it too much you're not pulling it up so much but you're giving that kind of faux seam structure so um if that interests you just drop me a message after this and i'll find the the tutorial and i will send you the link to it or you might be be able to do a quick google but create basically a fake seam in your garment and that should fix it um, I hope that helps. Great. So that was a good question.